I'm often described as a farmer first and winemaker second, and I think that's appropriate. I'd prefer to be growing grapes or doing something on the land more than anything else. Each year, we're given a whole new guideline with what Mother Nature hands us. I'm 68, and I'm feeling pretty young, and I love the wine. I've never fallen out of love with wine. I'm inspired by that. I was just out of high school when my mom and dad sat me down and asked a question. Chuck, your mother and I would like to start a small winery, if you'll join us. I thought, well, if you're going to be somebody in this world, you better work, and you should put effort towards life. So with that, I answered yes immediately, and away we went. Within just a few weeks, I was working alongside my dad, and it was a period of time I got to know my father as a co-worker, and it was really the foundation of our business. That was the beginning of Camus in those simple days, great times I had just working alongside my folks. Looking back on that is the precious history of my life. I'm a pretty lucky guy. Not only was able to work with my parents, but now I've got my kids joined in, and it's been a lot of fun. What I've learned from my dad is that we're always continually learning. I didn't have an aha moment where I decided I wanted to become a winemaker. Growing up here, tagging along with my dad, whether it's driving around in his truck to a vineyard, you know, I'm always learning. He's always got something to share. I try to absorb as much as I can when I'm with him. From my family, I've learned pretty much everything I know about farming and winemaking, and it was all pretty much learning on the job, which is, I believe, the best way to learn how to do anything you love. No pressure to follow in the family footsteps, but I enjoy what we do, so I did. I think being family owned is a very important thing. There's a responsibility for us as family owners to do the right thing, whether it's in the vineyard, whether it's in the cellar. I think people know it comes from our family to yours, and there's a trust level there. Uh, what I really enjoy about winemaking and farming grapes is that every year is different. Mother Nature always hands us different cards. What we do, both on the farming side and in the winery, is not something that you can find in a book. We're constantly exploring new areas within California, or in some cases, even out of California. We don't have the same constraints as our European counterparts. It's different here where we can plant and grow and produce wine how we'd like. We have more of an Americana spirit where you make choices that can have real change in character and quality of wine. No one has to tell us to do that. We know that if we don't, we're going to have ordinary wine. My kids are seeing this ability that bring about qualitative increases to our wines. We don't produce wines like we did 20 years ago, and even from 10 years ago, we're decidedly different. The basics of winemaking over the past couple centuries have remained pretty much the same. But just recently, the last 10 years or so, the amount of tools we have to help us with winemaking, they're accessible to us. It's not like we're making wine with high-tech machines, but we do have some tricks up our sleeve that help us make a better wine in the end. Utilizing that along with the old traditional techniques that will never go away, I think is a, a great blend of old world, new world. All the wines that we make are made for a reason. We've found Certain varietals are suited to certain areas, and we see all this opportunity all over California where we like to plant grapes and experiment. The more time you spend in the vineyard, the more attention you give a vineyard, it's inevitable that you're gonna come out with a higher quality in the end. I think the future for us is exploring even more parts of California that haven't been explored yet. When somebody tells me that they tasted my wine and they enjoyed it, that makes my day. I look at my forefathers that came here, and of course my mom's side was here since 1857, my dad's since 1906. And I don't think there's a day goes by when I don't feel like I've got my grandparents on my shoulder. I don't think it'll ever run out of fun for me. And I've fallen in love with wine and uh, never fallen out. I think that it's just the very beginning. <laughs>